Hello, everybody. Welcome to XCMG's online webinar, X Creators 101. All you have to know about the contest. I'm your host, Michelle. I want to thank you all for participating in our X Creators Challenge. Over the past month, there are thousands of registrations flowing in from machinery talents worldwide. And we've also received a lot of questions regarding to the contents categories and other details. And that's why we are here today. In this live stream webinar, we are very honored to have two specialists to join us. Mr. Zhu Zhengdong, a professional of the intelligent road construction machinery, and Mr. Gao Zhigang, as expert in emergent rescue equipment R&D. They will explain the contest categories in detail and give their insider's advice. There will be a live Q&A session today, too, so stay tuned. Now, let the webinar begin. We all know that a clear rescue pass is the key to guarantee a smooth and orderly command and dispatch on the side of an emergent rescue mission. That's why the first contest category of the X Creators Challenge is to design intelligent road rescue equipment. Let's watch the official video first. In recent years, natural disasters such as earthquakes, flood included landslides, collapse, and debris flows occur frequently, causing immeasurable economic losses. When a natural disaster occurs, the road damage is complex and changeable. More than 9,000 roads and tunnels were damaged in the 2008 Wenchuan earthquake, which brought great difficulties and challenge to the traffic, leading to disaster relief blocked, seriously affecting the progress of rescue and relief. In order to open up life channel for rescue and disaster relief, developing a highly efficient and safe, versatile road construction equipment is extremely urgent. To better clarify the construction scenes of the works for the contestants and make the works more practical for rescue application, the technical guidance team screen out three types of scenes for the rescue road after many deep discussions. Scene 1. The road is blocked by deposits caused by landslides, collapses, and debris flows. Scene 2. The road is blocked by collapsed debris on one side of the hillside, on the other side is the river. Water hollowed out the roadbed. Scene 3. Highway subgrade collapse and settlement. Among them, scene 1 can be specifically subdivided into four categories according to the surrounding environment. 1. There are hillsides on both sides of the road. 2. On one side of the road is a hillside, on the other side is valley. 3. On one side of the road is hillside, on the other side is gentle slope. 4. On one side of the road is hillside, on the other side is river. Scene 3 can be divided into two categories. 1. Collapse of highway subgrade. 2. Settlement of highway subgrade. Contestants can choose one or more categories from any of the above scenes for their research design. The goal of this competition is to realize efficient, safe, and environmental friendly and smart rescue road. During the conceptual design progress of presenting works, please show the appearance, structural design, and functional principle. The so electrics, hydraulics, material, and other contents in depth exploration is not required. Emergency rescue and disaster relief, life first. It is a primary task of emergency rescue to get through the life rescue channel quickly. Through this competition, XCMG hopes to gather the world's infinite knowledge, creativity, and intelligence for creating more possibilities in the field of emergency rescue, making greater contribution to the social progress and life safety and the health of all mankind. XCMG X Creator Challenge is waiting for you. Amazing video that was. Now let's welcome Mr. Zhu Zhengdong to kindly share what he thinks about the field. In recent years, natural disasters such as landslides, building collapses, mudslides caused by earthquakes, and flights, fires, accidents at hazardous chemicals and mines have occurred frequently. 
causing immeasurable economic losses to the country. Because roads are damaged or narrow, often leading to blocked conditions for disaster relief. So, the development of efficient, multifunctional, intelligent road emergency and access equipment is an urgent task to be solved in the development of the industry. Through this competition, XCMG hopes that it can gather knowledge, creativity, and wisdom from all over the world, create more possibilities in the field of emergency rescue, and be able to design suitable equipment for natural disasters or accidents, quickly open emergency roads for the safety and health of all mankind. Thank you, Mr. Zhu, for sharing those insightful opinions. Let's move on to the second category. It required the applicants to present a groundbreaking design idea to aid emergency and disaster relief and rescue missions after earthquakes, landslides, mudslides, or other large-scale geological disasters. Again, let's watch the introduction video together. Seriously, I'm so impressed by the videos. It makes me want to join the contacts too. Back to the topic. Mr. Gao Zhigang is an expert in emergency rescue equipment field. And now he will share his opinions from his experience and knowledge. Welcome. Geological disasters are often sudden and destructive, and they are one of the most serious disasters. Due to road damage or building collapses caused by large geological disasters such as earthquakes, landslides, and mudslides, in order to enable rescue vehicles to quickly access and meet a variety of rescue needs, the design of a multifunctional geological disaster relief a rescue vehicle through modular structure design and rapid switching device so that it owns a variety of functions in one and can quickly and efficiently switch. The whole machine has multifunctional modules and adaptability to various conditions. It should be efficient, practical, and intelligent for manipulation. Rescue vehicle design should be close to the actual application to meet the actual rescue needs. First, the vehicle should be within 12 meters in length, 2.5 meters in width, 4 meters in height range, and weight less than 20 tons. Second, the chassis should adapt to all terrains. 
can travel on damaged roads, and max limit should be above 50 kilometers per hour. Third, the upper mount has but not limited to traction, shearing, shoveling, hammering, grabbing, lifting, clearance, braking, detection, search, lighting, and other functions. And the work tool can achieve fast, intelligent, and efficient switching, and replacement time should be less than one minute. The specification submitted for the work contains description, describing the functions and technical design highlights. The main innovation points, describing the technical principles, functional innovation, design innovation, as well as multifunctional modularity, manipulation intelligence, complex adaptability, and efficient and practical characteristics. The main joints, including one joint of the exterior, one joint of the main structure, one joint of the main sizes, and optional like other technical joints that highlight innovative design features of technological novelty. It is better to provide animated video or 3D models. Thank you, Mr. Gao, for the professional advice. We've just known a lot more about the two contest categories. Now, it's the session we've all been waiting for, the live Q&A session. We know that all of our applications are the top talents in the field. However, the special requirements and ever-changing emerging rescue scenarios can be really hard to comprehend. We've collected some common asked questions from our Facebook page and the application website. Mr. Zhu and Mr. Gao will help us to answer them. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask us in the comment sections. Our staff will collect them and give you feedback later. First, for category one, does the design have to be suitable for all road rescue scenarios, or does it only apply to a particular scenario? No, the work can be designed for a specific scenario. But it would be better if the work can be applied to more scenarios. Understood. Thank you. The second question is more general. Since we require a conceptual design this time, could you please explain your demands about the realistic technical and structural principles and feasibility? The conceptual design should have a certain degree of foresight, and it is difficult to give a definite answer to this question. I personally think that the technology applied in a work should be verified or is being tested and verified in aerospace, automotive, and other fields, and its technology working principle and manufacturing process have a certain degree of feasibility and the design product should be developed and individual industrialized in about five years. So the design needs to be both creative and feasible. Thank you. Next question is more about the submission details. How detailed does the schematic structure design needs to be in the first round? As long as it clearly illustrates the usage, mechanism, and functionality of the equipment. No problem. About the second category, what are the geological disasters? And if the applicants are not familiar with the rescue scenario, can you tell them what to start with? Geological disasters are mainly earthquakes, landslides, mudslides, ground collapses. As for a specific scenario, you can look back 
to the Wen Chuan earthquake in 2008, or imagine the disaster movie scenes in which the large disasters caused road damage blocked or building collapse and people being trapped. So, the rescue vehicles need to reach the rescue site as soon as possible, which requires good vehicle mobility and high flexibility. Second, the vehicle should have a variety of functions to meet the needs of a variety of rescue conditions, such as lifting, demolition, excavation, barrier breaking, towing, lighting, and so on. Thirdly, a quick switch between different functions is required. Very insightful, thank you. And what tools would you suggest the contestants use to express the ideas? Three dimensional models can be expressed with PROE, UG, or solid works, and schematic diagrams can be expressed in CAD, MDS, two dimensional diagrams. If the contestants can do animation, video format is also welcomed. That's a variety of tools. I believe our talented contestants we have their preferred method to show us their good works. By the way, since the X Creators Challenge is open for global applications, some of our overseas applicants want to ask how they could join in the town contest under current travel restrictions and the jet lag. No need to worry about that. We will nominate the first round winners on a fair basis of their entries. After that, for those who are based outside China, we will assign each a personal online mentor for translations, schedule updates, judges' comments, and other daily communications. Also, for the semi-final X Creators Camp, we are arranging the itinerary so that the overseas contestants can join the whole journey online. So, no matter where you are based, feel free to join the contest. All are welcomed. Thank you, Mr. Zhu. We've been receiving feedbacks from our audience. We appreciate your active participation today. Now, let's answer some questions from the live comment. Here are fans asking if they can participate when they have already graduated or about to graduate. Of course, our competition is a global collection of works. Everyone can participate in, but we suggest you participate in groups to accomplish a better work. Another fan asked if he could join in XEMG if he participated in the competition but didn't win the prize. XCMG has been warmly welcoming outstanding students and professionals from all over the world to join us. Whether you win the prize or not, you can send us your resume. We will make comprehensive assessment based on your performance in the competition. Thanks everyone for joining in today's webinar. It is a great pleasure to hold the fruitful discussions and we hope your question has been solved under the professional help from our two distinguished guests. Thank you again to Mr. Zhu and Mr. Gao. Today's webinar has come to an end, but the X Creator Challenge journey has just started. Looking forward to all of your groundbreaking design works. The first round submission ends in July, so hesitate no more. Please visit our website at xcmgapprentice.com to register and submit your work. See you next time.